It began with a bike ride through this Jamaica Plain neighborhood. A for sale sign beckoned. I don't know. Victorian, it looked like it would be fun to look at the insides. Dave Elliott and Daryl Bikel did more than look. They bought the imposing Burrow Street home. Between purchasing it and closing, we had to figure out what we were really going to do with it. So we bought a book called How to Own and Operate a Bed and Breakfast. That was in 1996. Today, Taylor House, named for the family who built it as a summer home in 1853, is JP's only B&B. Well, all of a sudden, we got to know everybody in the neighborhood just because their relatives were staying with us. People are always frequenting the restaurants, and, and all of them are happy that we're here. So uh, it's kind of been a win-win for everybody. Jeff Tudor of Texas attended MIT three decades ago. This is his first visit back to Boston. I chose Jamaica Plain because I didn't want to be in downtown Boston. I wanted something a little less hectic. You've got Jamaica Pond just at the end of the block. You don't feel like you're in a big city. And that's really amazing. This is the end of Burroughs Street right here, Burroughs and Center. This is also right where the bus drops off from coming back from Boston. It runs about every 10 minutes. Everything's here. There's an Indian restaurant, Bukhara and Galway House. There's uh, Ben Chang is a Thai restaurant. JP Seafoods, the Japanese restaurant. Center Street Cafe is a little bit further down the street. One of our newest stores is City Feed and Supply, and they transformed this whole corner. Kind of brought like a little general store to the neighborhood. So we get a lot of grandparents that like to shop especially here at Boeing. Uh, it's the toy store. It has a lot of uh, creative things there. My friend Elaine Hackney runs that. Oh yes, a lot of people from Taylor House. Taylor House welcomes more than overnight guests. There are graduation parties, weddings, and a music and art series open to the community. I love music and art. I'm trained as a keyboardist. I went to New England Conservatory. The entire house, including the guest rooms, has original art mostly by Boston artists. We have musical performances. Twice a month we have classical programs. And once a month we do a jazz program. Dave and Daryl count visitors from 52 countries and every state in the U.S. They say most bed and breakfasts only make it 50% of them to five years. And only about 50% of those make it to 10 years. They've more than beaten the odds. It's been great, and the best thing I think about it is the satisfaction of restoring an old house.